in the blue corner with a record of three wins against a single loss, representing the pound MMA. Make some noise for Nathan Lambert! Brian Lacey, don't need an, a mic to be an MC. Well done. Brian Tanoi Lacey. We got a super welterweight contest here. Nathan Lambert representing the pound, fighting in the blue corner, the black pit bull shorts, as he takes on Combat Performance Academy's Hassan Hussein in the yellow pit bull shorts. Well done, Brian. <laughs> Mate, anyone got any batteries? Anyone got any batteries? Or oh, voice suites? Tanoi Lacey. <laughs> Is there anything he can't do? Got these guys underway. And Lambert with a big swing and a miss. Oh, that, that seemed to hurt Lambert a little yeah. bit. And both these fights have had multiple pullouts. Eventually they've been matched against each other. And yeah, that, Lambert said he's excited to face the sand because he feels he'll bring the fight out of him. Yeah, Hassan Hussein with a you know, twice as many fights experience. A four and four record. Nathan Lambert, three and one. So there won't be much that Nathan brings that Hassan hasn't seen. But the, the, the consistent blueprint against Hassan is the grappling. He's striking, he's dangerous. We saw a monster head kick knockout for him back on UKFC earlier on in the year, uh, the year before. Last year that was. But now, when people have come up against him, you saw it with a, in his last fight as well. When it comes to the grappling realms, this is the bit he's got to really work on, and he says he's been doing that, matching his training with Rob Friedman, as well as going to Reps MMA, getting rounds in with the likes of Chris Morris, Connor Hitchens, those sort of bodies. Uh, doing a good job of uh, keeping this upright at the moment, strong wizard, uh, using his right hand effectively, controlling that uh, arm, and you know, just doing all the right things to stay up on his feet. Lambert not forcing the issue too much, he's, Happy controlling the position, dropping some knees at the moment and saying comfortable there with his, uh, with, his, with his staying upright. Threatening a little bit with the ultra oh. as well, but gets taken backwards because of it. Gets those, gets his feet underneath him quick, gets that base with his knees and right back up to his feet, Hassan Hussein. Now the interesting thing as well between these two is uh, they went to, down to Aspire and I think they both had some rounds there, friendly rounds, as Hassan said, but obviously it's very different live in the cage and he said there's a lot of respect and he, he certainly is ex excited about facing Nathan but don't get it twisted oh, oh fast dig hands to the here. Party. yeah Hassan punches from a lot of different angles makes it really hard to prepare for his shots a lot of upcuts through the middle switching his stances working really well oh but gets tumbled down it looks back up to his feet able to oh, nice battle. nice scramble reverse got the ankle pick gonna try and deposit Nathan Lambert's backside to the canvas and does and right in his corner too Rob Friedman there immediately just giving instruction to his fighter that left eye still bothering Lambert a little bit from the earlier strike but Hassan is so I, I really enjoy watching him fight because he comes alive in there and he has been on a massive journey uh, and there's no pun intended there he was massively overweight really changed his lifestyle going into training martial arts it's a story that's so familiar but he was absolutely huge and through dis discipline dedication finding a family with the likes of uh, rob friedman and all of the team over there look at what he's done look at look at be how being proactive and applying yourself in a positive way has changed his world completely and wh whatever his record is that's a man that's winning at life absolutely and it's uh you know, this division as well, just look strong at this division there. Call it the, the super welterweight division. Uh, you know, more shows bringing in, you know, more of these different weight classes, but looks good, good and strong at the weight as well, but Lambert, has to be said, is a, is a unit. 
love it Mark Tomasu as you mentioned Brian still bothered by that eye who's shot that got through connected inside and he's um, still, still looks a little bit phased by it oh fate and then went up high Hassan walking him down Nice little switch step oh. into the jab there. Good work. Oh, I, I love the body that. work. Is the, oh, yeah. and the right hand. Now he's starting to add up. Yeah, hurt him to the body and then loop the right hand over the top. Oh, beautiful work from Hassan. Oh, he's got it. He's switching himself across there. Very good. Very uh, imp impressive move there from Hassan to get the takedown, but avoid keeping in trouble with that. Yeah, this ground bit there might be a little bit of a respite for Lambert because he looks like struck from the, the body shots and the right hand over the top. Probably quite happy to get his faculties back and have a little lie down. And Hassan lost his last fight, that was UK FC 15, lost by a third round. Nitri Negachova arguably was winning that fight to that moment. Oh, he's oh, oh. <laughs> Look, he's putting that squeeze on. Is he, on the, is he gonna close it? I can't see if the hands are oh. on, but he's tight. Oh, nope. Right. So he pops his head out nice work. Well, the commentator's close. curse would have been alive there if I was about to talk about him getting caught with a, a choke in his last fight. But he survived this one. You can hear the corner of Hassan screaming for him to be busier on top, stay busy on top. Yeah, when he opened up with the punches, though, that was what offered uh, Lambert the route through to try and snatch the guillotine. So he'll probably be a little bit more wary of that now. Lambert active, trying to get his feet on the hips. Trying to search for something from the bottom. In this position, well, well, now we're in this position, we've seen the threats that uh, Lambert can certainly attack with from his back. He's starting to bring up that high guard, maybe look for the triangle. Yeah, would you, you, would you have liked to have seen... Would you like to have seen that Hassan step back and maybe stay on the feet when he's having such success, Jay? Yeah, especially when the guard opens. I was fighting oh. on the armor. Oh. Looks like it's Pat. Looks like... He's going to have to defend well. Oh, yeah, that's nasty. Defend. That looks tight. Can he separate it? That's, that's it. The end of the round. Oh, the ref no, it's not. Oh, there's it's no the tight. The referees called it. The referees The referees called. decided that, that he wasn't going to escape. And I... I, under, I, I understand the referee dilemma there. He, even the corner, in the, the other side is slightly uh, miffed by that. That's perhaps a bit a bit premature. Again, we have to keep thinking. Do we have to keep thinking? We do what's best for the amateur fighters, but at the same time, you have just taken a win, a potential win away. But he was saying the elbow was was through. I couldn't see from this side, but if you understand jujitsu, a lot of the I mean the, the forearm is still in danger there, but. Most of the trouble's got. You're, I'm right in saying that, Anaj. Most of, most of the threat is gone if your elbow's through and past the, the hips. Yeah, if he gets the elbow past the hip, he's not going to be able to apply pressure on the joint anymore. It's hard to see. There was a lot of things in the way. I didn't have a, uh, that clear view on it. It wasn't as if it was all isolated in a way, but as I say, referee just looking out in the yeah, it, it, that's all, Yeah, you know, we're criticizing the referee for looking after the best interest of a fighter. He yeah, could, he, uh, if it wasn't on, he could have escaped. He might have. However, if it was on and he wasn't going to tap, you just don't. You, you just don't know. You got to feel for Hassan Hussein right now. Yeah, the, but pro, I, the pro level referees, uh, you know, let them make their own decisions. Yeah. If they want it to break, then it can break. But at the amateur level, he's uh, it, yeah. you know, stepping in ahead of time. I can understand the frustration at what is going to be perceived as an early stoppage. That I totally understand. But I would much rather my referees stop something a little too early than late. And uh, that's not going to make Hassan Hussein feel any better about it. That's a tough situation. the stop to the action at two minutes 12 seconds of round number two your winner in the blue corner nathan lambert